and then you fire the same thing into the water. <clears throat> you fire the same thing into the water here. See, then you have already in your mind, you think, sun is there, reflecting in the water, the same colors. Use the same colors right away and, uh, and work from there. There's one lousy little hair, but give me a little bit of a headache. Okay. So there we are. See, the yellow is on. Now what we do, we want to have the sun, the sun, where well, the sun is the brightest, there is the lightest. And I have to have a touch of red. I go into the red and I cut it in half. Something like this. You see? Now you can, and work it up very slowly, then it goes from the red lighter, 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 lighter into the sun. And the same thing you do in the water, you run the red, lower, 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 lower. So the sun is here and the sun is here in the water now, the way you, uh, the way I see it now. But where the sun is, there's the brightest. So what I do now, I use my almighty fan brush, take a good look on, on this, uh, how I make, I use uh, alizarin crimson and a touch of Prussian blue. But when I say Prussian blue, just look at that Prussian blue. It's always too much. It's always too much. Just a little, little touch of Prussian blue. And then you cut in your clouds the way you want it. You don't have to have it exactly the way I show it on, on that painting. You, you, you can do whatever you want. You are the artist, you are the creator, and you, I will be close to that because I have to show you how it is done. Okay, but uh, in, in my mind, I never like to copy. And uh, what I here show is because we got so much mail from you and you want to see the finish, you want to see the finished product before we start. And that's what we do here. You see, now I fire in clouds there, but the way I do it, I, I like to use the word fire in. You see, just roll it in, roll it in, and make it darker as you go away. See, again, again, uh, a little crimson and a real little touch of Prussian blue, and fire it in. Yes, roll it in. Uh, twist, twist your brush. Try to break your brush. See, something like that. And leave it all in, in motion. Never make it long strokes. Just leave it in motion. Everything is jumping. Okay, here the same on this side. That means I have here a little bit more blue on the outside and less to the inside. So the sun or the light is coloring the clouds too. Do it like this. That's a beautiful way of starting and a beautiful way of finishing up a almighty painting. Okay, see, now, if I had only water, I would pull this whole thing in to the, to the water now. But I know already, the way you see that painting there, there is a lot of bush and shrubs and, and trees. So why the devil I should do that? So I leave that out. So now you use your almighty brush, clean that brush. Make sure you have a dry brush. And I hypnotize the whole thing now, see? But this paint is so wonderful, it will not smear. It will just, uh, see, it will just become cloudy. It makes it nice and soft all of a sudden. Nice and soft, there you are. And it is the paint what will do that. If you have a soupy paint, if you go and buy paint, try to find a hard type of a paint. I don't want to ask you what you use, but it's got to be hard for this particular technique. So, now you use your fan brush again. You can have a new fan brush in order to go faster. See what I do here? I use white, if you have a nice close-up, and a touch of yellow, and that gives me a bit more, it gives me a bit more sun power. And I will push that in right there. You see? Right there. Right there, around the sun. See, the sun is behind that cloud there. And you come down a little bit like this. See, that can be here too, actually, that brightest light. So then you have it there and there. I always like to, to fire it right in when I have it on the brush. Okay, now we clean our brush again. Clean our almighty brush. And you can run it in like uh, sunbeams, see? You can run it in like sunbeams. 
something like this. Now you see what happens sometimes by touching it too much, you get some, you see what it is? You made a mistake, bad. Now it's not bad. Now I use my almighty finger and I work it out like this. You see, look at that. And you cover that up. See, you cover all that up and make a beautiful start right there. And now it comes from behind. It looks like rolling clouds in there. You see? There you are. Sometimes I do it even on both sides, and then I hate myself because it looks like your face sometimes. So then don't do it. Just, just pull it in here and make it uneven then again, you see? Because uh, by creating free, you, you, you do those things sometimes. Okay, that's the sky, that's the cloud, that's the sunset behind, and here begins the water. So what I want to do now, I put the little mountain. You see that mountain on that picture there? It's a little hill in the back. I use a touch of red, and you can set as high as you want, as low, whatever you want. It's not good to copy. I always take it as a sample if I want to do it like that. Okay, I will use it right from there, and, and you can have it lower and higher. Do it the way you want. Don't let me tell you how to pay. I only want to show you a technique, and I want to show you how, how easy it is to get there, but the way you paint, that must be your business. Because you have so much more creative power than I. I'm an old papa. I only show you all I did in my lifetime. So, and I know you can do it so much better. Everything I can do, you can do better. You see, there we have already the far away hill. Make it a little bit in the sunshine, all in a reddish color. You want it to be darker. You want it to come forward. As more you come forward, as darker you get. So what I do, I use a touch, a little bit more paint, a little touch more, and whatever here, I just go roughly what we had shown there, see? And, and make the strokes come down. See, all the strokes down in that distance gives you a tree feeling. Can you see tree trunks standing there? The same here on the hill. It looks like there are a thousand little trees standing there by using the brush this way. See? Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. You see, there you are. Beautiful. And always say beautiful. Beautiful. And the why I always like to see it, make it always stronger on top and lighter to the bottom. Because on the bottom is always a mist. See, here's the same. It's harder there and lighter there. And harder here and lighter there. So that gives you a, a, a far better beginning again. Okay. Now, the next step, I will have a shoreline there. I want to put that water. Then I use a bit stronger again. You see, what you see here, and you see how I use my fan brush, I, I squeeze it again. See, that's already a bush in front there. And it has to be all in each other, over each other. Trees are falling down. Trees are standing up. And, and you see it in your mind. And here again, see, just that push. Here's that push. That push. There, 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 there. See, there. See, look at that. Beautiful. Now, what you see now, with other words, it's like we start from far away, coming closer, closer, closer. In the sunset, everything turns red. In that particular sunset here, and you see the hill far away, coming closer, coming closer. All right. See, now you use your almighty brush, the big brush, <coughs> dry and clean, and pull that in. Go into here a little bit and pull it down a little bit, you see? Pull it down a little bit, just like that. See, pull it down a little bit, just like that. And all of a sudden, you create the reflection in the water al already, you see there? Beautiful. And always say, beautiful, beautiful. Encourage yourself, because it's so easy to get discouraged. Say, ah, I made a mistake, and it doesn't work for me, and I... You know, we had a lot of teach, uh, we did a lot of teaching, and I felt sorry for people that came to me and was discouraged. I always try to tell them, admire your work, and they did absolutely good. So, see, now you make, clean your brush, <coughs> clean your brush, and we make a side move like this. See, and all of a sudden that starts blurring. See, there we have the whole water from, that was, 
Dark hair because the sky reflects into the water. Wonderful. Now we make a line there. I use, take a look what I do here. I use that white and yellow here. The touch of white and yellow. If you have a nice close up here, you see how it looks. Now you put it on like this. See, look at that sticks. That paint is just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It sticks like glue. It sticks like glue. Yeah, see? Here you are. Mm -hmm. See, now, and then you can, you can clean the, what I usually do, I always clean my knife on, on the palette here, something like this, again, see? Get rid of it. Then you have a clean knife, and then you straighten it out if you want. It is nice not to have shaky hands. Someday I have shaky hands, but usually I don't. And quite very, very solid so far. All right, look how far we are already. <clears throat> now, the next step, you can use the same colors again, white and yellow, and then sun lines into the water, you know, like this. See, the sun is here, and the sun will dance into the water there. You see, there. Look at that. Pull it along. See? And dance it in just under the sun would be the best if you can do that. And don't be shy how it looks. As long as you have long lines, I will show you how I get rid of that. You use your big brush now, clean. See the big brush, clean. And you pull it along. Can you see that? See? See the lines, they come easy long now. You pull it along. Okay, we will leave it like that. Now, the next step, I already have that established. We go to almighty close-up, take a look how I take that paint off now. Prussian blue, now you can take a bit more Prussian blue, and lots of alizarin crimson. And use the big brush, I want to limber you up. We are so used to little brushes and it doesn't pay off. See now, look how I do it, I pull the brush sideways. Can you see it again? I pull the, soil, the brush sideways. And it turns like a shoe, it has round, and now it is not touching, it's touch and move like this, see? Touch and move, up, touch and move. See how fast you get, you get beautiful trees with so much air and with so much uh, uh, power, if you can get those strokes right. Now I show you on this side, just for, for a teaching idea, uh, how you get weeping willows. They will not be in here, but I hate to let that go by. Watch. I, I just go touch and move down. Touch and move down. Look at the weeping willows dancing over. You see how you paint weeping willows? Beautiful. So with other words, it depends on how you handle that almighty brush. So be always excited and, and handle that brush with so much power. <clears throat> okay. See, here is that kind of a tree. Now we can put the other tree on the side. Here one more, and one more, see? And then you come down, you can go around sidewards, see? Sidewards. There, look at that. And you need dark now, no matter what. You need dark in order to show light. Without dark, there is no light. So what I do now, I don't have to look at that thing. I just fill in dark. Very simple, just dark. There we are, there we are. And not too much paint, especially when you have to paint over again. See, I have to paint over that again. Don't use too much paint. It costs you money and it becomes a headache. Yeah. No, 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 no. I need a bit more alizarin crimson. I should have put that on more. And do the same thing on the other side if I want to have a other bushy tree there, what we have in that painting. You can run it in like this, but I take a look at it. I get always new excited by painting those beautiful shrubs, and they look so real. But you, you never can do it with, with the small brush. It's most impossible. And look at the time you save. You can be on the beach watching the girls, working three hours a day, and make money like you work three, three months on the painting. <clears throat> See, now already we are along with what? 15 minutes, 20 minutes. 
and we have already done so much. Now the time is very important because uh, uh, how long can you hold a dream? How long can you have creative power? You need that almighty creative power. Now the next, the next thing is, I put three trunks in, here one, here a little bit, and here a little bit, and here a little bit, and see, there, 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 there. And you can have long branches sticking out there, and there, and there. Look at what it does. That becomes a real wilderness now, and you can do it so fast. It excites me all the time when I can do it like that. Because there was a time when I was struggling on my pains and for months and for, oh. And actually, this is a demonstration what I show you here. Uh, you go over that again when it's dry and you can highlight whatever you want more or you can, uh, whatever. You can bring it out more here or there. Now, I really like to dance this on even in the land. You see the yellow there with this kind of a brush. That is true, you see, the sun lying in the grass. You see? That gives you a more power in the painting. Uh, and as you go around here, the trees draw a shadow, you use a touch of red into that. You see, I do the same thing, but with more red now. See? It gives you kind of a shadow feeling. You can add, mix it like the orange color. See, I, I take a good look, maybe we should show you that too here. Yellow, we have yellow here, and red, and it becomes a kind of orange color. And the same thing, like a shoe, the brush like a shoe, you see how round it is? And then fire it in like this. It gives you all the shrubs you need there. See there. Beautiful. The same thing again. Take off that paint, make it kind of an orange color, red alone is a bit too, too... Uh, <clears throat> and then you can even go right here, you can add a bit more and see, beautiful, look at that. Here's what the sun is the brightest, bring it up a little bit more. And then fire in there. There we are. Now, what we do, the next step is we put the almighty tree on the side. I can use a, you can use a fan brush, anything. And you fire that tree, whatever we have it, put it on the same spot right in there, you see. Don't waste any time, you know, it is a, the tree is quite close, you can lean on that tree, you have your easel most standing on the tree, you can make it far bigger. See, there's already a tree standing there. Now, you highlight that with uh, yellow, let the sun hit the tree. See, against the dark, the yellow would be just perfect. You see, there. Highlight that like this. It becomes round. Again, more yellow. And you highlight that down like this. You know, for shadow, you can use so many colors. It doesn't matter. I just happen to have red on this particular pink, but you can ply with blues, but it's a beautiful, a beautiful color too, as a, as a back color, as a shadow color. See? Make it so that you see some bark and some, some, uh, yeah, something like that. Good. Now we use a touch of red, and you can fire in red here against the, against that light. See, red against red, I would not do too much. It's, it's a funny thing. Sometimes you paint a birch tree, you go to the light, then you, you make it uh, darker there. And then in the light, in the dark, you make it lighter there. See here, I use red as a background color. You see that? Red as a background color. Red alone is quite a bit of an icy color. It's warm, but uh, it gives you a shadow feeling. It's a shadow feeling. So you see, there you are. Good. Now you can, you can, you can, you can fire up here. Yeah, here a little bit more. Now I will show you how we get some branches on. 
that is very easy done too. Already you can see your tree becomes round by having it dark on the other side, light on this side, and you feel it's a round tree. If you want, if you get sometime very, very uh, fussy, you can use lines like this. See? Lines like this. That gives you a round. Can you see that? It gives you beautiful round, round feeling. I do it very often on trees. Just give them that touch of roundness. <coughs> beautiful. See? And here too. And like I say, always talk to yourself. It's beautiful because then you have only when the painting is finished, then is where the trouble starts. Then you learn it is not so beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> but when you paint, you have to have all that encouragement. Now I will put some branches in. I use the fan brush. You can use a thin brush for that if you want to, the liner brush. But I will use a fan brush just to show you a new idea. Maybe on the light here, we fire in. Take a look how beautiful branches are coming. See, you can run it down, then, 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 yet very fine, and you can, and that, I think this is a better way of putting branches in than with the liner brush. They look very stiff. This looks like grout. It has bumps and it has uh, movements, see? Look at that. Beautiful. Now, whatever, you can put so many, many branches on whatever you have in your mind that you can do. There is no way of stopping you. I will leave it just like that. And maybe other branch here in the back. I wish I had more time. Then we could do all kinds of other things. But for the time I paint here, I just put enough in to show you how it can be done how it can be done, see? And that's all. As long as I know you learn something from it, that's what really counts for me the most. Because we have so much mail now, and people thank me even for, for, uh, for showing them tricks and shortcuts, and thousands and thousands of people really paint. Now, the sun will hit underneath the branch here. See, you always, so I highlight underneath that branch, you see? It's not always from the top bit more me, a bit more yellow there. See? And just dip it like that. Beautiful. Look at that. Gives you a nice highlight there. <clears throat> and then you want, see, against the dark, against the light, light on light, nothing on nothing is nothing. I will use red rather. See? Red will do better there. See? Against that light. Here I will put a little bit of whatever on, you see? Okay, now we, we, we start this dreaming in things here. So make it more interesting, more power here and more power there. That don't have to be uh, dead there. You can have uh, shrubs in front of it. Then you just go after, see, put a couple of shrubs, but not so loud, just enough that you see that in front of that tree. <coughs> and you can do it here too. If you want, you can just, in the dark here, highlight a little bit here and there, a very, very little. So just that this, this has some movements there. You can have it here too. See, like the sun hits here and there a little bit. There, see, the peaks. See? Now, we have that light in the front. That light in the front, and now look, we have, we do that, a little bit of gold in the back, so that gives you different colors, and look how you did it, how you did it, aren't you happy? <clears throat> there we are, there we are, now, we call it finish, you like it, thank you for watching me. In response to overwhelming viewer requests, KOCE has prepared a personal guide to Bill Alexander's Magic of Oil Painting 3. 
To receive your copy of this instructional book on Bill Alexander's painting technique, please send $8 to Magic 3, Post Office Box 2703, Huntington Beach, California, 92647. The magic of oil painting is made possible by a grant from Aaron Brothers Art Marts. Hi. Yes, even winter has its fun and has the beauty. You always think winter's icy, you're locked in. No, no, no. There are days, they are just wonderful. Think about the time you was young on a sled, rolling down the hills and building castles and and here is a nice little picture I will show you how to do it. The magic of oil painting is made possible by a grant from Aaron Brothers Art Marts. show you how we put that beautiful painting on this canvas. So think about winter now. I took, if you see my palette here, I took already the yellow off, all off. Don't use any yellow because we need no warm colors there at all. Red is already too, too powerful. But you need white and I have a ton of white on my palette and Van Dyke Brown, Prussian Blue, Alison Crimson, Alison Crimson and Prussian Blue. I tell you, it's the nicest color you can have for winter. Because think about red noses, red cheeks, sparks in the eyes. And there's always kind of a red and a blue red. It is not real red, it's blue red. Okay, so let me take off in order to get that whole deal. I have conditioned the canvas first. I use, look, Alison Crimson and Prussian Blue. See, and, and muddle it up together here. I don't know it's enough blue or it's enough alizarin crimson, but I will find out soon. You see how I do it? I just guess uh, this and this, and then I test it here. Is that the color I want? Yes, look, it has that, that blue red, that blue red, that blue, blue. It, is f it, it gives me frost feelings already. So naturally, I want to make a sky. It should look deep. So start always from the top. And uh, with that big brush, you see, dance it around, dance it around like this, from the top down, dance it around like this, but not too much paint on, not too much paint on, not too much paint on, see this? And as you go down, the magic white gets into your brush and gets lighter, 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 you see? There. And it appears to you now like a deep sky, beautiful. Again, beautiful.